Hey guys, what's up? My name's Landon. In today's video, we're going to be talking about not trying to just get by in life. I just want to thank everyone who supports me and uh, clicked on this video today. I hope you all just have a blessed day and I hope you guys enjoyed this word and this message and let's get right into the video. So I just want to basically explain the title of this real quick. Saying that not just trying to get by in life and just with God and stuff, some people will just try to do whatever they can, do the good that they can, and not try and just full out for God. They'll be like, oh, well, I just did this one thing. It really doesn't matter, but it matters to God. And sometimes we abuse his grace and that's not okay. Abusing God's grace is not a good thing. He will forgive you, but why, you can't just go to him, do bad things, and just expect for him to forgive you every time if you're just doing bad things willingly and like, okay, God will forgive me. It doesn't matter. It's not how it works. God died on the cross so he could, we could be saved and he could forgive us of our sins and then we walk out our walk with him, not just, okay, whatever, God will forgive me. I know that. Stop trying to abuse his grace and what he has for you and said, walk in the word and what he has. A lot of the first time Christians will do this or people that are just getting in, they'll like do bad things and be like, well, God forgive me or something like that. Or, and don't be ashamed thinking you're like this because you just started out and you're still slipping up because you're used to doing things like saying stuff. Don't worry about that. When you're fixing yourself, just know that God, if you mess up and stuff, know that God's going to be there, but not trying to do it on purpose and willingly. That's when there's a problem. Yes, God died on the cross for us. Yes, he done all these things for us so we could be forgiven. But it's not so we can just be forgiven at all times because when we know we're doing things bad, but we're just like, oh, whatever. But if you actually mean it with your heart, then God is going to forgive you. You're not just, someone's not, if someone comes to ask for forgiveness, but they don't really mean it because they keep on doing it over and over, are you really going to forgive them? Think about it. If someone keeps doing you wrong and keeps on doing you wrong, is it really, do you think they actually mean that they're sorry and they keep on asking for your forgiveness every single time you, every single time they do something wrong, but then they just do it again? I don't think they actually mean it. See what I mean there? If you go and you do bad things and you do bad things, but you ask for God forgiveness and you're just willingly doing this stuff and you're not trying to get better, do you think that God knows that you're not sorry? Because you're not going to be sorry for it. If you... If you're trying your best to do the will of God and search out and seek Him, then you slip up. We're all going to slip up, but we all strive to be perfect, just like God. The Bible says that we should all be perfect like our Father is. Not saying that we are all perfect, but we can be cleansed and be made whole and then go walk out and strive to be perfect and be like Jesus every single day of our lives. Because we don't have time to be lukewarm Christians. We don't have time to go out here and just lollygag in the Christian world. Either you're a Christian or not. He said, if you are lukewarm, I'll spit you out of my mouth. Either be hot or cold for me. God would rather you be cold than on the fence with him. So either just get away, don't be a Christian, or be on fire for God. Choose one. God wants us to come and be with him and be a part of him. But if you're going to put a bad word on his name, he doesn't want you. He doesn't want you to go and live out this world and say you're a Christian, but just completely put a bad name on Christianity or you being saying you're a believer and just completely putting a bad name on God. Because the way you put a bad name on God is say, say you're a Christian, but you're just going out and doing all these things and blaspheming him and all that stuff. You're just going away and just disrespecting what God does. The word doesn't line up with your life. We have to learn to stop going around and messing with the world and actually take this thing seriously and follow God's lead and the word that he has provided for us. I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash that uh, like button if you did like this video. And if you enjoy my content, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell right by it so you get notified every single time I post a video. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys next Sunday at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Peace.